I'm Charlie Hornbacher, the Holy Mackerel producer and chief of production at Church Militant. Right before we get into the season finale of Holy Mackerel, I have an announcement that I'm going to be hosting Membership Monday on April 10th at 7 p.m. If you are a premium member, I will answer any questions you have all about the Holy Mackerel show or the behind the scenes productions at Church Militant. I'm really excited for this. 7 p.m. April 10th. See you there. Is that thing on? Yeah? Okay. All right, here we go. Hi. Welcome to the brand new Holy Mackerel documentary, where we're going to have a whole lot of fun. Hello, and welcome to 2023, where everything's made up and the points don't matter. Just use one of those two, okay? Yeah, both are good. All right, Charlie, enough with the YouTube act. You know... Why don't you tell people something useful, like how to milk a goat, or self-defense against bears? There is no defense. You know, that's a really, really good idea. We could do something like uh, homesteading, you know, something useful. Oh, uh, yeah, like everything's up a billion percent nowadays, you know, Biden economics. So uh, we here at Church Militant have been uh, doing a lot to save money, like a hundred things. No new camera equipment. Power saving lights, 98 other things. You know what? It's about time. We have been too comfortable for too long. Yeah, I've already been making my own toothpaste, my own soap. I've stopped showering. Uh, no one told you to do that, JP. Well, these cuts we're making, unfortunately, they're not enough. So I need to be the bearer of bad news. We have to cut our Adobe software. Editing software? It's just too expensive, so... I just wish there was a way to... talk about this bad news in a good way. Like, something like... Yeah, that's not good, but I feel good about it. You know, it might be difficult to not use our editing software... I don't feel like yelling at Charlie over this, and he made the right decision. Hmm. What? Oh, by the way, we're carpooling to save money. Uh, guys, please do not say anything about this to anyone else. You got it, boss. Uh, Charlie, Shane is texting everybody. Hey, stop texting everybody. Unsend that. Okay, got it, boss. And it's unsent. What? How did you do that? supposed to make graphics without Adobe? Practical effects. I have a question. This sounds like it's going to be really, really bad. Not a legitimate question. Low budget aesthetic is trending. It's posh. Oh, it doesn't make any sense. Correct. Why would he bring it? Where are you going? That went not how I wanted it to go. But you know what? I'm not hiding. I'm going to go out there, I'm going to face the angry mob, and at the end of the day, we're going to get all of our work done, and we'll all be friends again. In a minute. Did you try turning it on and off again? You know, I didn't. Maybe I should. Hayes is going to probably try to incense it. Yeah, he probably will. But I don't know that's going to help because the same the ink drum is broken and I just replaced it yesterday. Well, I'm going to get some coffee. Want to take a break? Sure. Probably need it. Where's IT? We need them anyway. Today's been a great day. We should have canceled Adobe a long time ago. 
if she cancels out the free applications too, I'd have a lot less to worry about. Hey, Charlie. No, no, I don't work on typewriters. Typewriters aren't even technology. Sherry, how is this not technology? I need the typewriter to make tear-out quotes. Production team, control room meeting, five minutes. All righty. Charlie, just real quick, what, uh, maybe you should tell me your announcement first, just because I'm your number two and all that. JP, don't worry about it. This, this is just a little thing. No, 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 I know, but just, just tell me so I can tell them. Here, just, just whisper it into my ear. All right, everyone. Okay, everyone, pay attention. Charlie, you have the floor. Uh, I really didn't want to have to do this. I tried everything I could, but we're going to have to use MS Paint. Oh. Please, please, please. It's simple. All you have to do is import all of the stuff that you made in Photoshop back when we had that into MS Paint. It's that simple, guys. And you know what? Ooh, I have it's, a trick. Wait. It's Friday. Power I should, have that. I should put it away. Oh. Shift you can create straight lines in MS Paint. Gone are the days of those childish art pieces that you don't want to put on your refrigerator. Now you can make quasi-professional looking graphics in MS Paint. So, Guys, look, if those Australians can do it for their cartoon show, I think that Church Milton employees, we, we should be able and, and proud to use Microsoft Paint. Good job, Charlie. Yeah, yeah, I like that attitude. I like that attitude right there. And so, you're gonna need to get these programs. Uh, you're gonna need Movie Maker, because you're gonna need to import frame-by-frame frame graphics into Movie Maker if you want to do motion graphics. It's a really simple, guys, okay? So I think we're ready to tackle the day. I think we're gonna have a great show tonight. All right, guys? Yeah, let's go, let's do it. Okay, yeah. yes, everyone, good meeting. Uh, get back to work now. Yes, thank you, yep. You're now welcome, JP. That went well. I think so, too. We're going back to the early aughts and we're using Microsoft Paint. CNN's not using Microsoft Paint, I'll tell you that. Fox News isn't using Microsoft Paint. So we're nothing if not trailblazers here at St. Mike's. Nobody mentioned the teleprompter. No, nobody thinks of the teleprompter. Nobody thinks of the teleprompter software. I gotta write these cue cards all by myself. I mean, this place would burn down without me. Dave, what are you doing? Making cue cards. We didn't. We didn't replace the prompter software. The prompter software is free. We don't need to replace. What you made? Leftover pizza. Pepperoni pizza? No. Shame. Because I'm not an idiot. It's Friday and it's Lent. We all know what would happen. Hey Shane, did you move my bacon? Nope. Oh, come on. I know you gotta do this, but it wasn't my fault. Shane! Come on, that's, that's not even creative. Okay, fine, you got me. Can we call a truce, please? Oh, Shane, I would love to, but as a deputy canon 1251 enforcer, I can't. That would be a dereliction of duty. Well, that's really too bad, because I was looking forward to um, assisting you. Absolutely not interested. Continue. I'm pretty certain Holy Mackerel doesn't know about our remote editing. Think he's eating meat? If he did, who would catch him? It's the perfect cover. 
All right, leave him to me. Wait. You'll need this. I don't need your help. Give me. I don't really have any sort of plan. I just want to get JP off of my back, but wow. He's really, really getting into it. I hope this doesn't come back to bite me. I know he's up to something, but I just can't prove it. Uh, if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Hello, yes, I'd like to order a medium pepperoni pizza, please. No, make that a small. Yes, the address is 543. Was it necessary to frame Alex? No, of course not, but I won't be thwarted. Papa always said, finish what you start. Well, Dad, look at me now. At first, I thought there'd be no way we could get evening news done without Photoshop, After Effects, Premiere. And I really thought the production team would hate me. But you know what? You can get pretty much anything done if you're desperate enough. And with as much work as there is to go around, there's no time for anyone to be mad. I'm glad it has texture, but it doesn't move. I need it to move. We talked about this earlier. It's gonna have to move. Well, so it, it can't what, really move this because it's MS Paint. Like, we normally use After Effects for that, but, yeah. you know, wait, I might have an idea. If, if we print this out, hold that thought. Wait. Normally I would use After Effects to do these quote graphics. I'd screenshot the web page, highlight the text, but this is kind of the same. I've actually made graphics like this before and nobody noticed. Excuse me. Emily. Emily, please tell me you got that printer working. Uh, not yet. Why? Because I have an idea that's gonna get the show to work. We're gonna, we're gonna have a show. How? This isn't even my job. I just wanted to print on my Holy Macro movie script. It's called Infinity War. Stop incensing it. You're making it worse. It worked. Oh, ye of little faith. Well, I guess my work is done here. Of course, now you work. You have this in the printer, Emily? Oh, yeah, I've been working on that. Holy mackerel finally rests watching the sun rise on a grateful world. The hardest choices require the strongest wills. That's nice. Oh, speaking of Holy mackerel, have you seen him today? He's been elusive. Yeah, he's being sent by JP to various places. I may or may not have gotten him to be involved in a prank that I'm pulling. JP? You know yeah. how far he takes these things. What if somebody finds out? What if he ruins a show? He always takes things too far. I, look, I'm not concerned. I don't think anyone's gonna know that I had anything to do with it. It'll be fine. What are you doing? Enforcing Canon 1251. On them? They're fair game. None of those people work here. They're Catholic. Canon 1251 applies. JP, do not send Holy Mackerel after Matt Walsh. That is a terrible, just terrible idea. Shane, I have no choice. The man believes in aliens. I done? I never should have pranked JP. He's, he's unstoppable. Benedicta tui mulieribus, et benedictus fructus et resuies. All right, Hunter. Five, four, three. Hello, and thank you for joining us this Friday, April 7th. I'm Hunter Bradford.
In the Diocese of Scranton, church officials say they are shocked and dismayed at the destruction of evidence in an ongoing fraud investigation, claiming that someone replaced all their highlighters with blood. Dave, put those cards away. You're distracting Hunter. It's, it's just Dalton in case you never know. And only Michael Voris. Mike? Thanks, Hunter. This absolutely smells rotten, as you might imagine, and it happened right after the bishop called an area FedEx store asking if they had paper shredders that work on magazines. To make this graphic on a phone. Yep. It's a lot better than I would do. Nice. Well, Mike, this is a very important story, but unfortunately we're running out of time. Uh, thank you again. When we come back, though, the German Bishops' Conference has started inventing new commandments because breaking the same old Ten Commandments over and over got too boring. Clear. And then we got the, what uh, is going on? What is this right. crap? Guys, wh why is my phone blowing up? What is this? I I'm really, really sorry, Mike. We we're doing the best we can given the circumstances, trying to have a successful show. Look, I'm not talking about the show. I'm talking about my phone. My phone's blowing up right now. I've got tweets from Matt Walsh, uh, Michael Knowles, Matt Frad, Freedom Tunes that are saying, hey, at Church Milton, I don't know why you sent your fish man to ruin my show, but he barged in and vaporized about $75 of food and I'm very upset about it. What is this? So, so you're not upset about the graphics? No, I'm upset about this. <sighs> oh, well, hey, you want to talk to marketing about it? Absolutely, get him down there. Hey, Anthony. On? Did marketing yeah, have something to do with this? What's going on? What did you do? Well, I'm asking if you guys did. What's going on? Why is my phone blowing up? What's going on here? Well, I can honestly say that it was Shane. He started it. Uh, Shane? Okay, yes, technically I did start it. I had Holy Mackerel ruin JP's lunch, and it, I guess, just went from there. It escalated. So you're telling me that all of this stuff that's going on all over social media started because of some crazy little childish prank? Not now, Mac. Not now, Mac. Anthony, we better not have lost subscribers over this. I mean, it seems we've already ticked off a bunch of big people. What, 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 so what's the results going on? The numbers are actually up by a lot. Uh, the site traffic is They're through up. the roof. Yes, absolutely. The site traffic is through the roof. Um, the context of those mentions didn't actually matter. They just got a lot of eyes on our site. So you're telling me this all is turning out good? Absolutely. Oh, well, that's a fish of a different color. Shane? Out of boy. Matter of fact, you're promoted. Well, hey, no fair. Looks like uh, Holy Mackerel saved the day once again. Uh, he's an incredible guy. And uh, by the way, turns out we're going to get all of our programs back. You know, Premiere, After Effects, it, it's really, you know, best. It's best for us that we're going to be able to do the work the way we're used to. And uh, speaking of the work we do, today was so busy, I didn't even have a chance to eat lunch. Looks like JP uh, got this for me. Um, I don't even know what it is, really. Some kind of a burrito. Ah. Ah. Where'd that... Is that a golf ball?